All right. <clears throat> So good morning, YouTube. So here's what happened, right? So, um, oh, I'm right behind the mirror. Better watch what I'm angling at. <laughs> right. So, all the good Don Dobbies. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So, let me get close. There you go, girl. <laughs> Don't judge me. Ooh, I just woke up. Too close, too. Okay. So here's what happened. <clears throat> Last night we was out, right? And we was kicking at my mom's house, so we came back a little bit late. So we come back. Guess what? Somebody had knocked the, um, I have a warming, a candle warming thing, and it uses no fire. So somebody knocked it over. Essentially, we didn't know who it was. We thought it was Scar. We th I'm not going to lie. I thought it was Scar because he okay. always into some shit. So, I go, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I go feed the cats, blah, blah. I didn't see nothing. I checked the bottom of their paws. Because I'm like, they probably got it on their paws, stepped in something, right? So, later on, we sitting around. Scar's over by um, Erica. And then Paris come by me, and I rub her side. And I feel like this little, like a little, little tiny clump of something. I'm like, Paris, what is that? So, I go to pick her up. All her left side, y'all, is like wax city. So, immediately, I'm like, oh, God, I hope she didn't lick it. So, we start Googling stuff to, like, do to help wax out of fur. Apparently, this is super rare, and um, nobody knows what the hell to do. So, I called her vet. They were like, we're not sure. Call a pet groomer. I called a pet groomer. The pet groomer was like, yeah, yeesh. Like, they was like, you could use a hot towel to, you know, just what melt the wax or whatever and brush it out. So... This morning, we're going on an adventure. Because Paris is about to fight me. Because y'all know, they, every, I don't know, I feel like everybody pets do this, though. Like, whenever they go to the vet, they're sweet as pie. So people think they're the, the sweetest little things. And every time they clip their nails, they'd be like, oh, they were so sweet. They just sat there. They didn't even holler, say nothing. But when I cut their nails, they act like they're fucking dying. So we're going to try this hot water method i'm gonna try to put it in a bowl and just sanitize the bowl before and after um because baby <sighs> she's in the e-collar right now i'm gonna show you guys what she looks like in a minute but i'm not out there she's in the living room um so i'm gonna get this towel and then i'm gonna go in here and show y'all what it looked like before so after just in case somebody runs into the same problem one day in your life you're welcome see Puda, right it's actually on her left side, so I'm gonna try to see if she can. Let me see, Pooh. Can I see your side? Hmm? I'm sorry, I don't mean to start again. Can I see it? Can I see? Okay, so it's all right here. I'm like feeling it, but you guys can look at that. Like all this, you can't, you might not be able to see it, but I'm grabbing the clumps of wax. So it's all right here, it's all down her side, and all right here under her arm, under her neck. So we're gonna, <coughs> she has an attitude because she has an e-collar. We're gonna try to um, get her wax free today. You ready, Pooh? Hmm, Pooda? Ready? You did this to yourself, Shawnee. So now we have to try to fix it so Paris doesn't have to walk around with this cone all her life. Oh, <sighs> Lord. Ready? So first you're going to see me start with a bowl of hot water from the sink. And then I'm going to take about a cup of that water and put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. And mix them together. And then I'm going to take Paris and just rub her. I'm actually rubbing her so she can just calm down a bit. Um, she's not in the mood, and I can understand that. But I'm just going to take that towel and hold it onto her fur for a little while, maybe like 30 seconds or so. I sped it up so it doesn't look as long. So now I'm going to use the flea brush that I have. I really like this brush because it's metal and the bristles are like super, super, super small. So it's actually meant for detangling and getting rid of fleas. Um, and it's just 
Um, the bristles are small enough in order for me to get between the actual wax and her fur and also her skin. Okay, you guys so Paris won't stay um still but for the most part as you guys just saw I pretty much put hot towels on there and not too hot um if I could put my hand in it I knew it was gonna burn her or be too warm for her um because I'm not trying to burn her I'm trying to melt the wax um so I melted as much as I can but it's still really stuck in here I know they also said that there is a method that you could use like any kind of oils like olive oil uh not any kind i'm sorry on um, olive oil coconut oil and um, vegetable oil i think because it's safe for cats um i'm gonna double check on it because i think i have like some kind of coconut oil um and i'm gonna have to get up there and get it and then we'll try that because i have i'm sorry <laughs> extra olive extra virgin olive oil and I believe coconut oil so I'm gonna go check which oils and I'll be right back so this is several hours later I had to go out and take care of some business but I ended up having some extra virgin olive oil on my counter so I'm gonna take a little bit of that in my hand and rub it into her spot where all the wax is and just massage it in really well once again, this is sped up as well, but as you can see, I'm really just working it into where the wax is. And then I'm also going to take that same flea brush that I had earlier that I cleaned, and I'm gonna just comb it through. So as I'm combing it through, I'm also making sure that I'm not pulling her skin too tight. So that's why you see me kind of pulling it back a little bit. Um, I'm also trying to make sure I'm not hurting her or brushing too hard. And I'm also just making sure I'm working through each section and getting all the wax out. So as you can see, this method works the best. I got all the wax out. After this, I'm just going to wash her with a little bit of soap and water and dry her with a paper towel. So Erica had to come help me hold her, but we got the wax out. So the oil was the best one. I just soaked her fur in it and then I washed it and then I dried it. <laughs> <laughs> So she is just getting a treat for sitting and behaving. So if you guys ever have, it's one under her throat. There you go. Okay. okay. It's two under there actually. Oh okay, damn! Mama. Okay. Sheesh. Sheesh. So we're gonna you take the cone off of her because so she won't be tortured. Oh, good girl. Look, you free, mama. You gonna be free. Oh. 
outside. On the outside. Before you break it. <laughs> Sheesh. Break shit. Yay. Yay. Oh, look, look, look. Go ahead. Go to town. You don't want it? She, she like, said, I'm out of here. Bitch, I'm free, bitch. Look. You want a treat? Here. Give one. Look. She said, no, I'll trust you. Oh, my bad. He said, what? He been fussing all day, y'all. Look. Oh, there you uh, go, my big girl. So we did it. Yay. All right, you guys. That's how you do um, wax out of a cat. <laughs> oil. Extra virgin olive oil, coconut now oil. Listen or here, little heifer. Don't you do the shit again. Okay, because I'm not finna be doing it. Right, now she don't cool. Don't you do that shit again, goddammit. Say, but thanks, mom. Say, say thank you, my big ass. Oh, my big ass. <laughs> All right, you guys. We did it. Ain't no more.